onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia basically is a word. It has many parts. Those parts are consist of letters. But that's not especially important. The important part is what it means when it's all put together. What it means is a word in a language, or in the case of sign language, a gesture, uh, that is iconic to what it means. So uh, for, for our first example, go ahead and move to the next slide, please. These are all onomatopoeic words. Uh, most of them are from the Batman cartoons or live action, uh, especially the dog. <laughs> um, How do you pronounce those? Burr. The top list. Oh, the top. Uh, bang. Yow. Uh, zl <laughs> zlot. Zlonk. Crank. Clank, glurp, kapow, that's a classic, um, sock, which is also something you wear on your foot, pow, and zock. Um, and apparently this is taken from a website called the Batman Message Board. Do, do you not pronounce the exclamation points when reading that name? Um, you can, but I usually leave that up to comedic pianists. <laughs> so, if you would move on to the next slide. Um, there are a lot of different onomatopoeic words, as you can see. This is even a greater list. Um, and some people object to them if they are spoken too loudly. <clears throat> um, but you can usually solve the problem by sticking your fingers far enough into your ears to pierce your brain. And that will put you out of your misery if you are, in fact, miserable. Um, shall we next slide, please? Um, uh, there are a lot of examples of places where it is appropriate to use onomatopoeia. Um, certainly, the uh, MGM Lion uh, says at the beginning of every MGM movie, Roar. Uh, and uh, the uh, uh, breakfast cereal uh, icons there are uh, named after certain sounds that their cereal makes, which is really weird, but happens. Um, uh, go ahead. Do you recommend that we carry around an air horn to produce onomatopoeia? Um, the sound that an air horn makes is not actually onomatopoeia because it is not a word. However, if you were to come up to someone and pretend to whisper in their ear and then shout really loudly, BRAP, that would be onomatopoeia. So no, don't carry an air horn, just shout in people's ears. Yes? Is there a time in which it's inappropriate or offensive to use onomatopoeias? That's pretty much all the time, really. We're talking <laughs> about, <laughs> we're talking about uh, certain elements of language that are not, uh, they're uh, intended for people to convey uh, base uh, emotions, uh, unfiltered emotions uh, are that is what onomatopoeia is often for. So if you if you go around speaking in nothing but onomatopoeia, you're not really participating in the society as we've established it over the past thousand couple of years. <laughs> so, next slide. Um, <clears throat> uh, as you can see, different cultures have different uh, onomatopoeia for their particular um, pigs, <laughs> um, and uh, there are a number of, of ways that that can be manifested. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, that particular board did, in fact, have it coming. Um, 
could could you? I, I can't like make out all the different languages that they are. The pigs oh, are I'm sorry. Uh, oink is English. Uh, hunk is Albanian. B is Japanese. Grunz, German. Knorr is Dutch, and Nof is Swedish. And yes. The, the Dutch one, I'm not really getting the connection to the pig sound. Could you say it in a more piggy way for me? <laughs> More? <laughs> uh, no, that's it. I am not uh, actually Dutch, so uh, I don't have the uh, the proper accent. Uh, oh. Nor do I, unfortunately, have the uh, Swinish accent. Why doesn't your slide take into account bilingual pigs? The pigs themselves are not especially bilingual. It's the ears of the people in those different countries that hear them differently through the filter of their native language. So for example, uh, deaf people don't actually hear the pigs grunting or expressing themselves in any of these ways. They just see the pig going like this because that's what pigs do in sign language. Is this the official that sign language for oink? That's the that's sign language for pig. Oh. What is for oink? They don't have a, a sign for oink because they don't hear it. What about nor? Nor. Um, they do. Oh. Uh, next slide. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I inserted this slide at the very last minute and then forgot that I had done so because I was really, really, will not say exactly what I was, what substance I was on at the time. Is, is that why you spelled neighbors wrong? Um, That's actually spelled correctly. Yes. No, it's N-E-I-G-H. It's N-E-I-G-H. Except in that word. I no, I was I was on a substance that I will not currently name. So the uh, the quiz is to uh, is to identify what animal makes each of these sounds. Uh, so uh, since we're not actually writing these on paper, why don't I just have hands from the audience? Would somebody like to tell me what animal makes no, sound number an one? It's that guy. Probably that guy makes the sound. It is it um, you're wrong. Number two. Hands. Hands. It's a blue and black. The lady in purple who just walked in. <laughs> Would you like to answer number two, please? Uh, yes. You're incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> number three. Yes, I saw your hand. Oh, no, I was scratching my head. <laughs> but that's the wrong answer. Number four. Yes. Hati, 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 ho. No, that is wrong. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe you guys should look at your neighbor's paper. <laughs> <laughs> you should definitely. Number five, anyone? Hands? Number five? Number five does not exist. Um, you're close, but uh, not quite right. Number six? Yes? The woman in yellow? Frogs? You're also close, but not quite right. It does start with an F, though. Uh, number seven? Anyone? <laughs> 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 that's the sound, that's not the animal that makes the sound. Yes. Is it Old MacDonald? No. <laughs> oh. I know number eight, it's Werewolves of London. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you are all wrong. The answer to numbers one through eight are all the fox. Oh. That's the sound of fox. <laughs> <laughs> Next slide, please. <laughs> Okay, um, uh, this is, uh, the, the previous slide was about uh, fox sounds, the one before that was about pig sounds, this one is obviously about cow sounds. Um, now this cow, particular cow sound is very difficult to pronounce, but it does have a W in it and a couple of O's. <laughs> <laughs> I think the W is upside down, so I'm going to pronounce it moo and move on. Uh, <laughs> um, the cow should be flipped, then it would say move. <laughs> eh, close enough. Um, this cow is is having a more mathematical uh, time of it, or possibly Greek. 
Yes? What do Dutch cows say? <laughs> <laughs> Dutch cows say basically the same thing that Dutch pigs say. Is it not true that all Dutch animals actually say knorr? <laughs> I, I think they do. I, it has been a, a, a little while since I've been to Dutchland. <laughs> but I am going to go with that as a correct answer. Next slide, please. Um, these are, of course, the sounds that cats make. <laughs> Um, this is one of the most famous sounds that cats make. Uh, this is usually pronounced meow. <laughs> <laughs> this one's pronounced paw. Uh, and that one uh, is pronounced more. <laughs> yes? Can you re-pronounce those in Albanian? <laughs> Knorr. <laughs> actually read the top part of this slide, so don't ask me about that. Next slide, please. Oh, this is a long one. Uh, <laughs> um, ah, this is, these are sounds that people make, with the uh, possible exception of Elmo, because Elmo isn't really a people. He's sort of a Muppet monster thing. Um, but we usually treat him as a people because we don't want to uh, offend the three-year-olds who rule our lives. Um, uh, but uh, as you can see, there are quite a number of sounds that humans or uh, people uh, make also that are automatic. What's the difference between humans and people? Uh, humans are a subclass of people. People are the super class of humans. So people are better than humans? Uh, no, people more. encompass more than just humans. Uh, so it's humans plus Elmo, is what you're saying? Yes, humans <laughs> plus Elmo. <laughs> yes? What exactly is that person in the left picture? <laughs> this one? Yes. Um, <laughs> they, are, they are sucking the water <laughs> out of this iceberg thing. I'm pretty sure that's what that's picture of. Next slide, please. <laughs> um, yes, so uh, if you can find the plumber in this picture, you're a better man than I. Um, but that is, I think, where we're drawing to a close. Uh, so in conclusion, um, I will take a question after this. So one moment, please. So I, in conclusion, I would like to urge you all to toot. Yeah. Beep, beep. <laughs> I'm just a little confused about how this will translate into Dutch. Knorr. <laughs> it's knorr, knorr, ja. Knorr, knorr. <laughs> is, there a, is there a difference in the inflection for the second set of knorrs? No, not really. <laughs> Thank you all very much for oh, coming. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs>